Hi guys, this is Sadek from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass the strong agility test using an unrevoked keybox XML file. So as you might be aware, most of you could easily pass the first and second test using the plain integrity fix. But for the third test, which is the meet strong integrity, you will need to have an unrevoked keybox XML file. And in this regard, I am sharing this file for uh, quite a, some time. But the first file has already been patched and revoked by Google. Likewise, the second file has also been revoked by Google. As you could see, I am making an update on a guide as well. The second one is also done. Now we have a third. I have found a third file as well. This is the new XML file, which will again allow you to pass a strong integrated test without any issue whatsoever. But do keep in mind that this will again last for only a few weeks. Or if we are lucky enough, it might last for a few months as well. After which it will again get in the eyes of Google and will be patched as well. But until that happens, you may make full use of the file and as and when this files get revoked as well i'll find one more file for you and make a new video and update the guide here as well anyways as of now let's focus on this third file and get the job done so your first course of action is your phone should be rooted via magisk if you have done the root via stable version then make sure that to change it to magisk canary build is highly recommended or is rather is compulsory that your routing should be done by the magisk canary build and not the stable or beta build so if you are on the stable build then you may go to my magisk guide as well and from the magisk guide scroll down to the download section and then you may go to the magisk official download link from here and after that go to the canary build get hold of the latest canary using the app release apk and then get the job done once you are on the latest magisk canary build Let's get started with the process. So first off, I'm using the plain integrity checker app from Play Store. You may use the app to verify the current state of your phone. So let me show you that as well. Just a minute. This is the plain integrity API checker. There exists quite a few ways of checking the plain integrity. You may even do so from Play Store as well. But for now, I'm using this app and you may install the app. And as of now, let me show you if I launch the app, just make sure that you are online currently and tap on check. I will not pass the test. Let me show you. I'm failing the test. So at the end of the guide, using a unrevoked keybox XML file, we'll be passing all the three tests. So with that said, let's get started. So first and foremost, you will have to get hold of all these files. The magic scanner is required for routing. Likewise, you have to get hold for the Shamiko module as well. Then the LS port is required for Shamiko to run. Then the plain integrity fix is required for spoofing the device fingerprint. Zygisk assistant is required for hiding the Zygisk. Then the tricky store for modifying the chain for Android key attestation and unrevoked keybox XML for passing the strong integrity. Then a file manager app that supports root. For this, I'm using the solid file manager app. You may also use any one of your choice. For example, the, I guess me explore is also a handy option. You may try out the one which is suits your requirement. Then finally, the plain integrity API checker, which we have got already. This is required to check if your phone passes the strong test. So once you have got all the files, Transfer the files onto your phone, then launch the Magisk app and first course of action is to go to the settings menu and enable the toggle next to Zygisk. It will ask you to do a restart. We will not do a restart now, we will do a restart after flashing all the modules just to save some time. So now let's flash the modules. The flashing order does not matter. Simply go to modules, tap on install from storage. So let's first flash the LS post, tap on OK. Then go back again, tap on install from storage. Next up, we have the plain negative fix again, tap on OK. Go back, install from storage. Next up, we have the Shamiko module, flash it as well. Once that is done, again, install from storage. Tricky store, tap on OK. And finally, we have to flash one more module, which is the Zygis assistant. It has been flashed as well. So let me verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have the 5 modules to be flashed. Once you have flashed all the 5 modules. So now you have to take the help of the keybox XML file. Simply drop in the comment and ask the file. And I will share the file with you. And once you have got the keybox XML file. You will now have to transfer the file in a particular directory. So for that, first off, install the solid file manager app. So go to the any file app of your choice. And let me now install this solid file manager app which should be somewhat here solid file app hit on install and it's now installed 
so once you have installed all the required apps and all the modules have been flashed as well as you could see you will have to do a restart so let's do a reboot this restart is compulsory because after flashing the modules so first off we enable digest then we flash these five modules and then i install the root supported file manager app such as solid file manager app and once that is done you will then have to do a restart there is no need to install the lsports apk file we only need the lsports in the back end we don't need the lsports app if you want to flash any module from lsports that is a secondary thing but for this task there is no need for the lsports app only flash the lsports zip file and your task has complete now that we have done a restart the modules are now activated as you could see they are now up and running so now launch this solid file manager app from here this is the app and accept the terms and condition let's tap on skip accept it and grant storage access and now you will also have to enable auto rotation from here and once that is done auto rotate your phone and the benefit of that is you could now access both the directory so on the left hand side tap on the hamburger menu and select root you will get a magic prompt tap on grant and on the left hand side we now have the root directory on the right is the internal memory so what you have to do is on the root directory you will have to access the data adb tricky store so go to data adb and tricky store and on the right hand side you have to access the keybox xml file then copy the file and paste the file on the left hand side inside the directory you will get a prompt tap on new and the file has now been pasted so we now have the new keybox xml file which you have got from my from my guide and once you have got the keybox xml file once you have transferred the file from your phone onto the data adb tricky store you will again have to do a restart this restart is compulsory as well so let's do a restart from the magic app because the power menu has been removed by google with this new chain i just hate the chain because the power menu should by default act for a restart but it's now been implemented by google assistant which does not make any sense whatsoever anyways do a restart now and once your phone reboot we could then check out the result there is now no need to remove the data of google play store play service service framework that is also not required any longer that's quite great to see because it saves quite a lot of time so you no longer have to remove their data as well just flash the modules and place the keybox xml file in that directory and finally let's launch the play integrity api checker app make sure you are online and hit the check button and let's now verify the result as well it should take a few seconds up to around 10 seconds and then we could have a look at the results so let's wait as you could see we are now passing all the three tests including the most important strong integrity so again i am repeating at the time of recording the key is not revoked it's unrevoked but in the near future the key might get revoked and if and when that happens please let me know in the comment section i'll find file find a new key for you and upload it and let you know as well and then i'll update the guide accordingly so guys on that note we round up this video it's highly recommended and i will request you personally not to share this file with anyone else because the more you share with it the more are the chances of it getting revoked by google well i am even doing the same thing it's quite counterintuitive but i had to help you out so i am sharing this but let's keep it a little bit private and not share it with many other peoples and on that note we round up this video so thanks a lot for watching